After two nights at Kelly Dahl Campground here, Saturday night and Sunday night, we are going back to West Magnolia Dispersed Camping to try and find another spot. We are being stubborn and we're not giving up. But we're hunting for a better cell signal. We need to do just a little bit of work while we're out here, so. Yeah, it's been, it's not, it's not easy to just be like closing up the tent and driving into town every day. And then you're not at your site anyway. So we, I think we've been exhausted of driving into town for service and we just are trying to find a spot where we can have service where we live and that's our mission and the backup plan is back here at kelly doll campground which is at like 20 percent capacity right now yeah so we do have a backup plan it'd be a little silly to come back and set up it where we just tore down but we just got to try i do feel really bad for aaron he's working so hard so hard so much physical labor like i feel like that's ugh. why this this life would be tough to sustain for a very very long time it's um, obviously, you know, when you're camping for a weekend or two, it's no problem, but uh, people that do this every single day, I definitely give them some props because it yeah. is a lot of work. Yeah, and I'm trying to pick up little things that I can do to help Aaron's process, but it's just a scratch. It's just a scratch in the bucket. Scratch or a drop? It's just a drop in the bucket. <laughs> so far, we've seen about four or so spots they're all still occupied by the same people and somebody was even getting ready to leave they were hitching up their trailer and somebody was already sitting there waiting for them to leave on deck on deck we would have been on deck so i mean there's a lot of spots out here but it's um it's definitely luck of the draw for sure 33 inches of water fording. It might be three inches, actually. <laughs> There's a lot of water in here today compared to the other day. Yeah. I'm just been waiting for this moment. Not much. It's still exciting. Feels good to be in a big truck, though, and not worry about any of this. Yeah, a lot of stress. Yeah, it takes the stress away. I mean, driving these roads in a car, I'd be just super stressed out. Yeah, and then you get worried about getting stuck in here too. Like if you come in when it dries and then it rains when you're here. It is so beautiful out here. I really want to find a spot. I can't believe how busy it is. Probably Sundays are the best day to get out here because it's so close to Nederland and it's such a kind of popular spot that I bet as the weekenders leave on Sunday morning or afternoon that it fills up Sunday again. Um, but yeah, we've seen one spot that's turned over like three times. Hopefully, we'll see. We're gonna keep trying. Chris is running up the road to check on one spot that uh, is at that end of a dead end. It's available. It is? Yeah, it's wide open and it's way back there. It's like its own universe back there. I had to run like... I know you were gone. I was about ready to send the search party out. I think it's like a quarter mile back. And it, the road's not an easy road, but we'll be able to take it just fine. It's open? Wide open.
Good. It feels cleaner back here than up there. Just because the tall grass attracts those bugs. Yeah. Yeah, this will give us a little bit of room and let's set up camp. We got it. Yeah. A little right. bit of effort on that one, huh? Yeah, this is back here. Yeah. This is like in the middle of nowhere. This is exactly what we were trying to be able to do. Like people don't even try to come back here. Once you get to that road and you're like, yeah, I don't really want to go down that road. Yeah, that was a tough road for this big truck. That's about as small of a trail as we'd ever want to go on. And it's so slow and painful because you got to watch trees and scraping and rocks. It was very rutted too. Yeah. Okay, so setup time. Once again. Well, what do you think though? Beautiful? Yeah, it's nice. There's absolutely nobody back here. Oh, well, our third time is the charm. Yeah, I'm sweating a little bit. This yeah. Is, uh, it's always tough coming into boondocking spots because it's it's not a campground. There's not, it's not perfectly paved. It's not perfectly level. Although this is as close as you can get. They actually have numbered sites. They have, um, you know, fire pits, like designated areas. It's not a big free for all or not as much. Um, but definitely worth it since we're going to be here for a few days. Yeah, I'm happy. We have, our uh, internet is very stable here Yeah. right now. So that's a huge plus for us. Um, it took a little bit of work to get in here, so we're definitely going to stay here. What's going to drive us out is running out of water or if our solar doesn't charge our batteries enough and we need to get driving. Yeah, which for water we have almost uh 10 gallons it's a good it's thing we brought that extra bag seven eight nine and a half plus what we have we, we bought 10 gallons of water yeah so yeah half of the van or a third of the van truck third of the van what we used to have oh there. okay gotcha yeah. gotcha so we're gonna set up one more time and then we're actually gonna we have food get we comfortable recharge the batteries a little bit driving around so what are our batteries at i don't know i gotta grab my phone um we were down to 22 percent Wow. We've been running the electric blanket and um, and working yesterday. I ran my laptop for like six hours straight trying to upload a video. We should get some good solar here though, right? I think so. It's probably getting really good. The sun is intense right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good service for sure. Ooh, only 54% uh on the battery so we charged it up from like 22 to 54 but we're pulling in five amps charging from the solar so as long as we're not doing heavy laptop work which you have a full battery i have a full battery we're pulling in 75 watts right now pretty good on a 90 watt panel nice so that 75 watts is going to run the cooler it's going to charge up the batteries it's going to um give us a little boost today and we'll easily be able to make it for two, three days. Perfect. Yes, setting up the tent is starting to get old, but it's not just the tent. It's, it's everything. It's the packing up and down. It's basically the camping, but I'm not going to complain too much because this is a great lifestyle and we're pretty honored to be living it out here, enjoying the freedom and enjoying our free lands. up it feels really good and it's like we're starting fresh all over again but first things first Aaron and I are both gonna get a workout in we are going to do our weight training using our bands and it's gonna feel good we're craving it we're craving some consistency again traveling across the country from Minnesota to Colorado we definitely are off schedule it's so easy for our viewers and nomads to lose their routine it happens to the best of us even Aaron and I, and we do this for a living, so we definitely get it, the struggle is real. But the best thing you can do is jump right back into it as soon as you're in a new place. 
uh, make it a priority, make it happen. It's the middle of the day right now, 147. So we're gonna we're gonna do our workout and then we're gonna have a late lunch and then we're gonna go on a hike. So today for us mentally, we really just wanted to get somewhere where we feel like we can stay, work, live, not have to relocate. We're gonna stay here as long as we can until we run out of resources. And this is the best way for us to just get into it is to just feel good, get our bodies moving, lube the joints a little bit, and then kick back and enjoy our beautiful spot. Yeah, we're not fully set up yet. We're kind of like half set up. <laughs> we, just, we just tore down so i think we're both kind of like dragging butt yeah. to like want to completely set up um, but once we do get everything set up i think we're going to do a little quick run through of uh our first boondocking site yeah it went from sunny beautiful and hot to chilly and ominous with giant crows I don't know, but sometimes birds alert from other things. Like there's a bear in there? I'm just saying, sometimes they, you know. There's danger? Alert, yeah. So we gotta pay attention, but that sky is looking dark. Let's get everything packed up. It's raining. A lot. We've been in Colorado for four days and we've gotten rain four days. <laughs> I knew I hated Colorado. No, you don't. You love it. Aaron, we saw moose. That was cool. We have seen beautiful things, wildflowers. We got into some cool spots here. We've met new friends. Yeah, Colorado's been good so far. I've been reading about bears. You've been, you've been scaring yourself. A little bit being very bear aware. This rain is crazy. It was so beautiful earlier. Good thing we got our workout in right when we got it in. Yes, do not procrastinate do not on your workout. Do not procrastinate because you know what? It's going to rain. And, and then you don't, don't want to have to do it out in the rain. You'll be sitting in your vehicle going, I can't work out. I can't work out today. <laughs> <laughs> We've given up on the hike, and we're watching a movie in the truck. It's getting steamy in here. Yeah. Rain just won't stop. It just oh, At least that lets some good stop. light in. Yeah, that helps a ton. It helps a ton. Makes us feel like we're not sitting... What are you doing? Oh, sh**! Aaron! Oh. Oops. This is trying to get light in here. We're gonna watch the founder, McDonald's. We're gonna dream about French fries <laughs> trapped inside of a truck. We have no access to cooking hot dinner tonight. Yeah, we could have set the clam up earlier. Um, I don't know, I just didn't feel like doing it. Neither one of us felt like doing it. Yeah, we, we were just, over it. We just packed it all up. It's fine. We could have done it. I'm gonna take my shoes off and put my feet up. Relax. I would put, recline my chair back, but I can't. <laughs> so this is day five of rain, Chris, or four? We have been in Colorado for five days and this is our fifth day of rain. Yeah, it's five days of rain. It's not like straight rain. Some days are worse, some days are better. Um, there's been some beautiful sunshine. We've had bursts, we've had beautiful bursts of sunshine pockets. Yeah, I almost wouldn't mind it if it was just like, you know, a little bit and then mostly sunny, but this is, it's getting pretty rough in a tent, you know? It's exhausting. And it's kind of that chilly type of weather. So even if we set up the clam outside to sit out there, it's like freezing, mm -hmm. you know, it's like 45 degrees. It's really cold. Yeah. 50 degrees maybe. Um, so we're, you know, basically sitting inside the truck quite a bit. <laughs> I Which, think the reason it felt so long and I, I was talking to you about this earlier yesterday when it rained, it started raining about noon and it rained all night. Um, so yesterday we did not have any hot meals at all. We had cold food from the cooler. Mm -hmm. We went to bed when it was raining, wore our rain jackets up to the bed 
And then when we woke up this morning at 6 a.m., it was raining. So we, we went to bed to rain, we woke up to rain, and it was a full 24 hours of straight rain. And I think that really... And we moved yesterday too. So yeah. it was a beautiful morning. Beautiful morning yesterday. It was. And then just, you know, by the time we got here, we had enough time to work out. And, um, yeah, luckily we got that, set that up. session in before the rain hits. That's why you never want to take the weather for granted. If you have an opportunity where you can get outside and do something and get a workout in or anything, whatever it is that your jam is, you go out and you do it because it can be taken from you in a minute. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So we are thinking about relocating um, tomorrow, meet up with some friends and uh, do some hiking and um, enjoy some, some other parts of beautiful Colorado. Yeah. And, um, you know, we got, I don't know, three, four weeks of this left. So and, uh, buckle up. Yeah, it's our, it's our time to leave anyway. We need, we're going to run out of water. We're going to run out of groceries. It's been a full week since we grocery shopped. So our cooler has been awesome. We've made it a full week. Um, yeah. I think this week, though, did give us some ideas. Like, we're going to need some more grab-and-go cold food um, just for, like, rainy days where we're... Quick and easy. Yeah, because... We had a lot of cheese sticks and protein bars, which was fine. It got us through. We have peanut butter sandwiches, stuff like that. But I just want to spend a little more time poking around the grocery store to see what non-cook items would be really satisfying for us in times where it's raining or maybe we just don't want to unpack the Blackstone if we're doing like a one day here, one day there, and yeah. we don't want to do a full setup. Well, I'm kind of worried about bears. I've been talking about them. Like, I mean, we are in the middle of a, uh, you know, a mountain, very, very wildernessy area. And, um, I don't know how there's not like bears just roaming around. Yeah. So, yeah. You gotta, you been, excuse me. I have been hitting the workouts hard and I am feeling exhaustion from it. And that's a good thing. We're at 8,500 feet elevation. So I'm sure that has a little bit to Aaron do with it. Aaron has been researching our safety Bless his heart. He's been researching so much on how to keep us safe from bears. He's actually freaking himself out about bears. <laughs> so I think you need to like stop Googling stuff about bear danger. Oh, you did read a fun fact that since the year. Yeah. Well, what was weird was, so you start reading about bears and how they have the nose seven times of a bloodhound and they can smell stuff from five miles away and you're food lingers around your campsite for nine hours after you're done cooking and well, they're attracted to all smells not just just us being here they're attracted to so then it talks like, about yeah your own like uh, toiletries and and urine and like uh, anything bears are attracted to so then i'm like well we're in the middle of the wilderness i mean how are bears not like sniffing us out right now yeah all of, they mean, are you're cooking bacon in the woods like why is a bear not rolling up on everybody's campsite uh, and then I read a fact that like nine people have been killed in Colorado since 1934 or something like that. And then he felt a lot better. Yeah. Like, whew. So it's, it's like most things that are sensationalized. I think, you know, they're there to warn you about the, uh, hazards of a certain thing, but because they're a bit extreme. Yeah. yeah. But it's a bit extreme. Like you don't just walk into the woods and a bear attacks you because you can smell your toothpaste. Yeah. So Aaron says one week down, three to go. Will it be four weeks? Will it be more? I don't know. I'm kind of just putting it out there that we could be living this lifestyle for eight weeks. You know why? Because I'm going to I'm gonna keep my expectations low. And that way when we get our RV, I'm going to be super happy. And I'm not going to be like disappointed if it goes longer than it is. I'm going to shoot for the stars so I can fall on a cloud. And I'm going to be like... Whatever, it's going to take a while. We don't know exactly when we'll have it. And yeah. I don't want to just assume three more weeks because it could be eight more weeks. It very well could be. And our particular lifestyle uh, just doesn't work that well full time in a tent setup like this. I mean, it just. It just, it, everything takes it just a long, doesn't. everything. It's a full time job camping. Yeah. It, it suffers like you know, our work and, and things that we want to progress on. Like the majority of your time is setting up, tearing down, cooking, eating, you know, we work out every day. You throw in some, you know, a couple hours of walking and hiking and stuff like that. And yeah. you don't get anything done really. So that is the seventh time you've yawned. I'm really tired today. You are going to be going to bed now. 
Yeah. Time for bed. Yeah, I'm gonna sleep good tonight. I'm still, still haven't got my Monopoly game in. Nope, not yet. Maybe tonight. Our last morning at this lovely little dispersed camping spot. Chris is cleaning out the cooler a little bit, getting ready for a grocery shopping trip. So we figured we'd have a hot breakfast. Yeah, hot meal. We're doing a veggie omelet. Ooh, I have mushrooms and jalapenos on here. And then I'm gonna add red peppers and some onions into my half. And these onions I did, I pre-cooked these before I put them in our cooler so that we didn't get raw onions stinking up our cooler all the time. So that's a nice little trick. And then eggs. This is the last of our eggs, which I scramble in this little baggie. And then we'll have some toast with it. And then these are all of our containers that I've wiped out, trying to just dry them out because the key to keeping your veggie fresh is to get rid of all the water. So I don't want to put brand new veggies in here with moisture in the containers. So I'm drying them completely out so that they'll be ready to fill up at the grocery store. And that's tough to do in this area because it's been raining so much. Yeah, we finally got sun right now, so that's helping. Um, I'm also going to pre-line these at right now. Um, so when we're at the grocery store parking lot, I'm fumbling around as little as possible. And I'll also be using, I have my kitchen shears and some rubber gloves because I will need to be handling raw meat and packing that in the cooler. So I'm really just thinking ahead here while we have the truck bed open um, because the last thing I want to do is be making Aaron dig in the back of the truck. I can't reach back there. So when he's in there, I'll ask him, hey, can you grab this? And I'm always trying to think like our next step ahead just so that um, we're prepared for when we stop. <laughs> pretty for the plant, but they're more like veggie scrambles. Many hot meals lately. No, we're not a, not enough, at least. Definitely not enough. Yeah. So reflection on our first boondocking spot in the truck. It was a great spot. I love the spot. It's very private. You know, it's a good spot when a local rides by and gets excited to see you here and says it's the best spot in the park yeah that was great a local on a mountain bike came up and he goes all right site 20. nice yeah so must be a local's favorite and we actually had a few people drive up here i mean you saw the road in it's a good whatever eighth of a mile or something up the up a wash basically i mean it's not an easy access the cars that did come by were small. Small SUVs. Like SUVs, like. Honda CRV and. Um, Subaru. Yeah, they were like small four wheel drive SUVs. Cause then you can kind of like bob and weave in between the big rocks and stuff. Mm -hmm. Our big truck, like we basically just had to dodge pinstriping from the trees and just go over the rocks or, you know, just crawl up it slowly. Yeah. So it worked out really well. Yeah great area and um we're definitely adjusting still adjusting the rain was the rain made it really tough. hard that was tough like i when think it, it was just testing our our strength think about it right now it's sunny it's warming up it's early in the morning yeah but your mood is just like you're happy to be outside yeah you're enjoying it when we woke up yesterday morning we stayed in the tent for two extra hours because it was just raining out yeah. It was cold and miserable. Mm -hmm. And it was starting to wear on us a little bit, but we stayed positive <clears throat> overall. Yeah. So we're learning a lot. You see the bathroom tent behind us. We'll have to go into more details on that. But so far, 
that's worked out really great. We haven't really shared our system yet, but I like it so far. Definitely getting uh, some adjustment periods to that. Yeah. All this is an adjustment. I'd say we're doing really well. Um, our systems are getting more processed. We're figuring out our kits. We've learned that kits are critical for every part of the day. The way you bundle things together so that you can be efficient with your time. And it's been really good. I think that relocating is going to be good for us. It'll be a fresh start. I think that the weather has kind of cleared out. It's going to be a little warmer there. Mm -hmm. um, lower, I don't know if it's lower elevation, but it's definitely going to be warmer when you check the weather. Which is weird because it's like... That one day it was almost 80 here, but then it gets to like 45 overnight, mm -hmm. which would be fine if it wasn't raining. Mm -hmm. So we're going to stop and do a lot of errands along our way. It's a three hour drive. We're going to stop at the grocery store. This will be the very first time packing the cooler without a kitchen. So that'll be interesting, but should be pretty easy. And then we're going to drive about 30 minutes off of our route to get to a Planet Fitness so that we can get a nice, good workout in. I mean, we've been actually getting really good workouts in here, but we are looking forward to a shower afterward. Mm -hmm. So we're going out of our way so that we can get that shower along with our workout. So these are all cleaned and lined and ready to fill. I like to have my little collapsible tote because in order to stack it, I need to like pull out stuff and rearrange it, so. Mm, let me grab that quick. Well, I don't need it now, but I will need it at the grocery store. Oh, okay. Um, Cause right now, like, I'm just positioned in a way that I can work with this stuff, but these just stack up nicely over here. And I really, really like everything that we have going on. You can fit a lot of food in here. Yeah, I'd definitely say well over a week's worth of food well, for two people. Well over a week. Maybe four people could do a week's worth. Yeah, it's great. We I have che we have cheese, string cheese for about twelve people. <laughs> but you know what? The string cheese is good for just like tucking in empty spaces. It's just filler, it's, so it doesn't rattle it's just around. Just filler. And that's it. The final step, changing of the shoes. The mud shoes done. What yeah. a what a long pack up. Felt long. It's only 10.30, but what time we get up at around 6.30? Yeah. And four hours, four hours, and all we did was eat breakfast and pack up. Yep. That's camping. That's camp life. That is.